Hey, so what happens after I do this low serve in the doubles? That is of course the third shot. So the return come and then it's my job to do something clever here at the net. That's what we are talking about in this tutorial. Hope you enjoy it. So the third shot in the doubles is extremely important. This is, you know, this is your big chance on getting the initiative in the rally. So if you do a very, very precise low serve, which we of course like to do, watch our tutorials on how to master that low serve. So after we do the serve, the first tip here is that the racket moves forward together with my body and also, of course, together with the shot, with the low serve. Yep. In this tutorial, I will show you a few different examples on how to approach the third shot. And one of them is out here in the backhand side. So I do my serve in either of the sides and the return comes to the backhand side. If it's very sharp, um, you can slice it a little bit where you go from up to down like this to add a little spin. If it's a little bit more up high, we can of course go for the net kill. But in all cases here, it's important that your shots are very small and quick using the finger power and using the, the thumb grip in the, the, the backhand side and changing to a forehand grip over here in the forehand side. if the shuttle uh, comes in the center position. So the return comes very sharp in the center position. It can be a little bit more tricky. Should we take the backhand? Should I change to the forehand? Or how should we approach it? That's of course up to you and it can be different from every, um, every scenario depending on, on the situation and where the, the shuttle will come. But in most cases, I would go for, if I serve in um, the even side, so the right field, I would go up and use my backhand. If it comes over here, I will change to the forehand. Over on the other side, I will maybe use the forehand a little bit more because it's more easy with this angle towards the return. But if the shuttle comes with a lot of spin, it's important that we slice it once again back on the spin. So if the shuttle comes really tricky, try to slice it back towards the opponents. If you hit that shot straight on, it can go right, left, or up in the air. So in the sides, go straight on, or with a straight slice. In the center position, choose backhand or forehand, and, and go for the slice, um, the spin slice, back to the opponents. If the return comes with spin. If the return just comes simple, just go up once again, hit it straight on, and try to put pressure on the opponents. Okay, so that was a, a lot of different examples here that you just, just saw with, with some of these clips. And remember that racket, get it up high, move forward to the net, add small pushes, small quick pushes with your finger power, or do the delicate shot using the slice, using the arm, and try to put the pressure back on your opponents. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this. Um, really uh, tricky uh, tutorial, and re but really important tutorial about that third shot in the double. Master the return, master the serve, sorry, and also master the return, of course. But also think about what you want to do on the third shot. So uh, good luck on that, training on your own, and uh, we'll see you in our next video. Hey! Okay, so on top level, 
the third shot is extremely impossible. Impossible? <laughs> the surprise! <laughs> Good. Cut. No more.